And this is the most important one that I really wish I had known before switching over to butterfly bars. Hey friends, Sheila here. Today I am sharing some of the pros and cons of butterfly bars. I have been using butterfly or trekking bars for about a year and a half now. They have been a huge help to me. They have made a big difference, but they also come with some little downsides that I want to mention as well. So first, let's talk about the pros of butterfly bars. Number one is the fact that they offer lots of hand positions. I think this is the biggest reason why a lot of people turn to butterfly or trekking bars. It's why I started using them. I was dealing with a wrist injury and eventual surgery that meant I couldn't sit comfortably in drop bars anymore, so I switched over to butterfly bars. Not only does this mean I'm sitting in a more upright position that takes that pressure off my wrists, but it also means that on a long day of touring or day after day of long touring, I can change up the positions in a lot of different ways. So really big asset there. Number two is there's lots of real estate for gadgets. It's pretty easy for me to strap on a bell and my Wahoo and a light and a bag. There's a whole lot of real estate for whatever I want to put on there. One small caveat I would give is that the bars are all angled, so sometimes it takes a little creativity to get things facing the way you want. Mostly I've just found this with my light, for instance, because I use a handlebar bag that sits in front. Because of the angle of the bar, to get the light so that it's still pointing forward and illuminating things without getting blocked by the bag, it takes a little creativity, but it's certainly doable. And the third pro is that it's really customizable. This is how I've set it up, but some people flip the bars so it's reverse, they angle it in different ways. I like to use more ergonomic grips in my key hand position and then just use the foam that it came with for the rest. If and when that foam eventually erodes, I would switch over to bar tape. But there really are a lot of options in terms of how the bar sits, what direction it faces, and then on top of that, what kind of grips and other supports you want to use for your unique setup. So those are the pros. What are some of the cons? Number one, it can be a costly switch. So if, for instance, you are switching from drop bars to butterfly bars, a lot of that hardware isn't compatible. So you're likely to need new shifters, new brakes, new cables and housing to go along with those shifters and brakes. You might need a new stem, and then of course, the labor to do the work itself. If you already have a flat bar setup, this can be a lot more affordable, but that is something to you know work with your local bike shop on to get a sense of the cost and whether it seems feasible. The second con is that it's less aerodynamic, if this is something that is important to you. For me, I'm perfectly happy to sit more upright, to go slower and take in my surroundings and just have a good time. It does mean that on a particularly head windy day, I have to get myself as low as I can. But for the most part, I'm perfectly happy to go a little slower. But if aerodynamics are important to you, then you know a drop bar bike is going to be better in that regard. And lastly, and this is the most important one that I really wish I had known before switching over to butterfly bars, is that it changes your body position considerably, or at least it can. And that's what happened for me. I had been riding in this more forward drop bar position, and in order to alleviate my wrist pain, I switched to this more upright setup. And when I hopped on my bike and rode it for the first time and didn't notice any wrist pain, I was so excited, I headed out on a week-long bike tour. Basically, the number one rule of bike touring is not to change anything right before you go, and I had done a big change to my setup. Yes, I was sitting more upright and I had alleviated the pain on my wrists, but this change changed everything in terms of my body. It changed the way my entire body was positioned. This unfortunately created a lot of discomfort and injury in my knees that I then had to undo. My big issue was that with this upright position, I couldn't get myself sitting far enough back 
in my saddle. I tried a bunch of different saddles, really tried nudging them as far back as they could safely go. And I still felt like I was sitting too far forward, my knees were uncomfortable, and I was trying to scooch myself back in my saddle and it just wasn't working. That is when I got this Thompson Elite setback seat post. It angled things back a little for me so I could then put a saddle on just that little bit further back so that I was comfortable enough that it wasn't causing that discomfort in my knees and my legs. So please, if you switch over, do not make the mistake I did. It's so important to slowly build your distance, see how that change affects everything in your body and see what other changes to your setup might be needed in order to make sure that your body's still moving in a comfortable way. So those are what I have found to be the pros and cons of butterfly bars. What about you? Do you love butterfly bars? Do you hate them? Do you have any questions? Toss them all in the comments below. Thanks for being here. See you in the next one. Bye.